Welcome back to Discover NL. I'm Mark Warren. Very pleased to be joined in her own kitchen by Bonita Hussey. Hi, Bonita. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you for letting me into your beautiful home. Thank you. And uh, and of course, it's it's cold outside, but it's awfully nice in here, and it smells way better than the studio. So thank Abs you very much. Absolutely. You gave yeah. me a, a cup of tea too. So well, you got can't uh, you can't be uh, visiting Bonita's kitchen without having a cup of tea. I and of course, some food in <laughs> front of you. That's right. And I'm not trying not to touch it until after, and after, after we're done. And have takeout. That's right. Um, I, I, I'm just so excited to, to have you on because uh, for those people who know you, and many of our viewers will already know you, obviously, from being on Eastlink, but also yeah. your YouTube presence mm -hmm. and your cookbook and all that stuff. I'm sure that was given out uh, as gifts for Christmas. Yeah. Um, just talk a little bit about how this started, because I love that story, and I mentioned to you I lived away for a time, and I'm very nostalgic, and I love Newfoundland, and part of the reason why I guess I do the show, but, you know, the food, the memories of food, and all of that stuff. Just talk a little bit about how, how it all started Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Well, for us, uh, we lived away, of course, at Northwest Territories, right. Yellow Knife, for 28 years. And we moved home in uh, 2014. Okay. And in June of 2014, our sons asked for a recipe for homemade bread. Right. They were homesick. They were away to university and they're thinking, okay, we need some home cooking. Yeah. And I posted it to YouTube. And of course, back then I used my uh, iPad. And, sure, yeah. Uh, Raymond <laughs> used to follow me with it. Yes, your uh, husband does a lot of the, all the tech and stuff, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. He's, uh, he's uh, my. Uh, Right on. Yeah. It may be on the scenes. So uh, and then uh, so I, I guess with that said, more than just them watched it. Right. So our oldest son said, "Okay, mom, you should be putting more videos up there." So right. we did that, and then just before we retired in uh, October two thousand fourteen, yeah. we uh, we both looked at each other and said, "Let's get a camera. Let's do this, right. and that'll be our retirement wow. hobby." Right, mm -hmm. and so from that, and now we're living here um, in Newfoundland, and of right. course, originally from Upper Island Cove. Right, um, we got uh, over f 26,000 subscribers wow. and over 2 million views of uh, 200 yeah. plus videos that we've put up there. Uh, your website is excellent as well, besides you. your uh, your YouTube. And you look at you know all the different recipes, and of course, homemade bread is just oh, that one oh. hits you right in the heart. Yeah. So I can understand your sons uh, wanting that recipe, and of course, I'm sure first of all they want you to bake it and send it. Yes, in But packages, the next best yeah. thing is, and I wonder, there's a certain I don't know, there's a certain carrying on of tradition. Uh, which I know a, a lot of older people yeah. didn't have recipes because it was all up here. Exactly. And, they, and that must be, I guess, when you're looking for different recipes, a struggle. You it's need to talk to people, it's right? It's a struggle. I've asked many elders mm. for recipes and they don't have it. Um, and of course, like you said, uh, being here from Newfoundland, I love Newfoundland uh, right. cooking and cuisine. But anyway, uh, we, we do get a lot of people asking for certain recipes mm -hmm. and then they don't know what it is, so I'm researching that. Right. So on top of showing you how to make it, we're trying to rewrite a recipe that's originally Newfoundland, but for people to be able to follow it. Wow. A pinch of this and a pinch of that, just yeah. don't cut it for anyone that's not a baker or it used to cook. Cooking. Well, it's an art. I mean, right? you can't, yeah, it, it's an art, mm -hmm. and, and I've tried to do it, and I've had the bread machines and everything else, and, and it's almost like one of those, I don't know, it's a real, um, it's a work of art it is. when it, it comes is. out right. Mm -hmm. And I remember my first loaf of bread, I think, is when I moved into some basement apartment, and I just <laughs> wanted to feel like home, and that was the best you know, Feeling batch I known, ever did, yeah. and the smell of it, and the melted butter on top. Just to know it's there, yeah. But, uh, okay, but there's so many more things, I, I guess the nostalgia mm -hmm. is a huge part of it, but you, you're just so good at, at not only the, the baking and the cooking mm -hmm. and the pickling and everything, mm -hmm. I don't even know mm -hmm. the correct terms for all that stuff, but uh, not only explaining it, but it's that sharing of tradition, and yes. uh, I think, you know, people must ask you, are you going to run out of recipes? All the time, right? all the time, and I don't think that's possible mm -hmm. because there's so many recipes out there that right. we haven't even its surface. But the memory behind it, like we get so many stories that I sit and cry, yeah. and Raymond will say, "What are you crying about?" And I'm like, "Oh, nothing, nothing." Mm -hmm. And it's because people are sharing stories about family members that passed. They used right. to make this recipe, they can't get it, and then I work. 
so hard to get that recipe so they'll have it right. and then just the memory of that for them mm. to have that close i know from us living away we've had big long distant phone bills calling yes. my parents and saying can you give me the recipe mm. for such a thing so having this uh platform to go in on youtube any time yeah. you want and the recipe That's will right. always be there. And, and of course, even just looking through mm -hmm. your website as to how I started, I mm -hmm. went through your website and then I went down through all the things that, that I was into and I was just like, okay, I, I can't even bookmark all these things. I just, <laughs> I, I'll yeah. do one at a time yeah. and, and try to, mm -hmm. to figure it out. But yeah, I, I remember, you know, going into mm -hmm. my grandmother's house and when she cooked her, for example, mm -hmm. or something, yeah. something that was different from what you usually exactly. have. Exactly. And then as a little kid, you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to like this. And it's the the most favorite thing it's the sweet, thing you're sour looking for rabbit right okay <laughs> out of nowhere and then people think i'm crazy but that's uh, yeah. and, and now of course my, my grandmother has alzheimer's yeah, and she's so she in a home and she can't cook anymore so it's not even that i can't get the recipe from her uh she can't she make it and she can't and down. she can't give it to me no. so i think beyond everything mm -hmm. this is so much more than than a cooking show or exactly. a baking show exactly and that's what we love about it and again it's there for people if they need it our family like you said mm -hmm. we're just just a small part of uh, putting out the tradition of newfoundland right. and labrador and again like you said people mm -hmm. send messages and we're all there to help so i know what you give to other mm -hmm. people but in you know in a closing word what do mm -hmm. you get i think you've alluded to it with the stories and the tradition well it, it just it just warms the cockles mm. of my heart it do because yeah. we sit down and we read them we read each and every message right. and uh, and we get back to people at a timely wow. matter and what we get out of it is something for us to do in retirement right. and then we take a vacation visiting our kids wow. sunny south and, excellent you well know. Bonita thank you for being here I'm yeah. gonna hug you because <laughs> we're hoggers and hopefully the mics won't shake yeah. I don't get to do that on the set because exactly. we're too far apart exactly well thank uh, you for coming and you're by. welcome back anytime and all the best in the new year thank you so much We'll be right back with more Discover NL after this.